Texas A&M, a team that App State knows pretty well after last weekend. That offense needs to get it moving. The Aggies have scored a touchdown on just 24% of their offensive drives this season. That ranks 86th in FBS. And what's more, they're committing a lot of turnovers on 19% of their drives. That ranks 117th in FBS. Meanwhile, the Canes guys, they're taking advantage of their opportunities, picking off four passes, which is tied for third amongst Power 5 schools. We had some news out of Texas. Texas A&M this week. The Aggies going ahead and making a quarterback change, benching Hayes King for Max Johnson. Pollock, you thought this might be developing as the season went on. Why now to make the change? Well, uh, offensively, you, you saw it last week. They're just struggling. They got to figure it out. They have a dominant player in A-Chain who runs the rock, but they need quarterback play. And I think Max Johnson's a guy that we saw do it at LSU. We saw him compete at a high level. You saw his toughness. You saw him go through progression. So I, I think that you knew the way Haynes King was struggling a little bit. This offense was struggling a little bit. You needed a jump start, and that's why you go to Max. Yeah, you go to Max because Max is a better passer, too. You know, you got defenses. They're lining up to stop A-Chain because he's such a great running back. But when you put Max Johnson in the game, they have to respect the pass. And ironically enough, Max Johnson's last start was against Texas A&M. And he actually won the game, threw yep. for a little bit over 300 yards and three touchdowns. So I tell you what, it, it was a change that had to be made. What I want to know, Dave, is like, what happened during the competition, though, that Max Johnson lost the job but didn't win it? You know what I mean? So, I, to me, that's an easy answer because Haynes King was there yeah. and he was Jimbo Fisher's guy and you transfer in and yeah. you're not the guy. Like you, this guy, huh? I, you're, you're comfortable with him. I think Haynes kid's a great kid. He's got a lot of ability. Yeah. He can scramble, he can run, right. but that, there, there's no, there's a big difference between the two. And uh, Max Johnson should have won the job in camp. Yeah. And I'll tell I you agree. what, when you got somebody breathing down your neck, you know what doesn't help your case? What's that? UBR of 33, which is what he posted in the last game. Desmond, I'll go back to you on this That's one. Not good. How do you expect Miami's defense to attack AM given their new quarterback? Well, I tell you what, I expect them to look at what happened a week ago and look at App, App State, what they did. They're going to punch them in the mouth. They're going to defeat them at the line of scrimmage. They're going to play bully ball. Miami right now under Mario Cristobal and that coaching staff, they're, they're just going about, we want to be a physical ball club. That's their mantra. That's their motto. They're like, listen, we don't do that little, you know, turnover chain stuff no more. We're all about <laughs> substance now over symbolism. So they want to come and punch the Aggies in the mouth just like App State did. I want to see if they can do it. Like, it, yeah. it's, it's, it, I love Cristobal's toughness and you got to implement it, but you know, talking it and doing it is another thing. And, and let's be honest, yeah. they ain't played nobody. They no, ain't no, played no. nobody yet. So I'm excited to see Van Dyke. I'm excited to see this new new OC, new DC, new head coach. Like, what does it look like for the Kings yeah. when they play a real team? And the stakes are much higher now, too, since the Aggies lost to App State. Well, <laughs> and, and the Aggies guys have a brutal stretch in front of them. I've got here Arkansas, Mississippi State, Alabama, of the next few games they've got. Yeah. They are being given guys a 50% chance to make a bowl. My, wow. how things have changed for Texas A&M. It's crazy. But Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.